Okay, so here we're on the exhaust side of things. Uh, I've got uh, an exhaust manifold gasket. I'm not going to be running a gasket. I'm just using this for porting purposes. Uh, but I'm, I'm showing you here uh, to uh, sh show you what I mean about how you want to focus your effort on the walls and the roof and stay away from the floor. Because you can see here's the gasket, uh, but I purposely didn't bring the floor down. Uh, this is actually the stock height of the original port. And so all I did was push off to the right and push off to the left to sort of flatten out the floor and, and open up the corners. Uh, but the bottom of the exhaust port is essentially stock. It's just been smoothed up with some stones and then uh, some sanding rolls to, to polish it. Uh, and again, just like on the intake side, the goal here is to try to decrease the angle or the corner that the exhaust has to make. And so by raising the roof, you decrease that angle. Uh, and so that's the goal. And you can see here again, on the, just like on the intake on the exhaust side, most of the protruding uh, valve guide boss is gone. That was a significant lump. It probably stuck down to where, you know, my fingernail was down there, uh, a considerable restriction. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I mean, that's the, that's the uh, goal for the exhaust side. Now, once you figure out how much you can open these up, and admittedly, it took me, you know, two heads really to figure out what that was. Um, you can make, you know, a substantial gain for, you know, and I, I don't know what the, what this is going to translate to in horsepower, uh, but for the cost of some carbide burrs, some stones and sanding rolls, it's not a lot of money. It's, it's mostly your time and patience. I would say you're looking at at least an hour just to do the carbide work for each port, and then about another hour to do the carbide work for uh, the combustion chambers. Uh, stone work is much faster, probably only, you know, maybe a, a half an hour of stone work for each port and probably that much time for the combustion chamber as well. And then once you're onto the sanding rolls, well then it's more like 15 minutes for the coarse sanding roll and 10 minutes for the fine sanding roll. Again, that's per port and per combustion chamber. So maybe 20, 25 hours, something like that, once you actually know what you're doing. Uh, but again, you know, it took me three heads to figure this out and uh, uh, a lot of crying when I broke through into a, into a water passage. Um, okay, so uh, that's it for the porting and polishing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I wish there was a way in which I could give you a quantitative measure for how much to open these up uh, and at what depth so you could just copy what I have. Uh, but really, I think the only way to do this is to use a, a head like this as your guide uh, and then use some inside calipers and measure each port as you're working your way down and use use uh, a ported head as your guide for the new port. I, I really think that's the only way. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Bye.